Hey guys, welcome back. So a while back I bought this uh, Iskar cutoff tool and it's a carbide tool, uh, 32.4, which means it's 32 millimeters high and 4 wide. Uh, I haven't gotten to use it yet because I don't have a holder for it. So uh, what I'm making today is the actual holder to be able to use my new cutoff tool. So I'll start with a piece of steel. This is just uh, some scrap steel I had laying around. Uh, and I'm going to scribe a line uh, 9 millimeters up from the bottom. And I measured this on my lathe so I know I'll, I'll be in the right position. Most of this work will be made in the uh, shaper, so I'll just uh, take it over to the shaper and I will start cutting the, the slot that the, uh, the tool will go in. Now I need to cut the ends of the slot. And this will be in an angle, so it will kind of be like a dovetail. This will make the holder want to pull the tool inwards to make it stay secure.
So now that we have a good fit for the tool, we need to make the actual holder fit the tool post. So I need to weld on another piece of steel on the back side. And the way I do this is I take off some material on the outside corner and this enables me to put some weld there and then shave off the material on the weld that sticks out so I'll have a perfectly flat surface. When I've taken off the excess material and I have a really good flat surface on it, I then need to make a cutout in the holder to enable it to clamp down on the tool. So what I've done is that I have ground a high speed tool bit, kind of like a um, cutoff tool. And uh, I just feed down by hand until I have the, the depth I want. I then took it over to the drill press and I drilled and tapped five holes. In this case I only had to use two of those holes to, uh, to get the clamping power I needed. Uh, but it's good to have in the, in the future if I really start stressing the tool I may need um, to use bolts in, in some additional holes to get, get enough clamping power.
So after some finishing, here's the, the finished tool holder and um, all that's left now is to take it out for a test spin and it seemed to be working out really well. I need to try some different feeds and speeds for this new tool and learn how to use it. But uh, I'm really happy with the result. So that's it for now. Take care, leave your comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.